What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm doing a review on a device that was sent for the purposes of the review. If you guys have been watching for a while, you'll know that a lot of the Lost Vape products that I've done reviews on, I actually enjoyed. And that's due to the fact that the chip that was housed inside that mod. There was a couple little qualms or issues I had with some of the devices like the Therion ripping apart a battery. With the BF Squonker, they could have definitely revisited the board and figured out what they could have done different than that of the original Therion, just because even the Therion Squonker still rips apart a battery life. It's a little difficult to get the bottle in and then take the battery out. In order to take the battery out, you have to take the squonk bottle off. And that's with a lot of mods. That's not just with Lost Vape. I got a message from, I guess, one of the people that work with Lost Vape and they asked me if I wanted to do a review on it. Now, typically, I tell people, listen, I got like 30, 40 items. You want to do a review, you can send it. And when I get to it, I get to it. The problem I have though is with DNA 75s or any kind of DNA chip or even SX chips, I kind of put that in front of everybody. Need to start charging for that. I'm just saying that's going to have to start happening because the amount of shit that I'm getting, so rigorous, so rigorous. I've used this device on their stock theme, which I'm not a huge fan of at all. Like just, I don't know. I don't know who designs the theme. Are we seriously going to fucking do this right now? I don't know who designed the theme that is on this, but I do not believe it to be a default theme from Evolve. It's kind of like a modified theme and it has really awkward colors on it. What we're talking about is the Lost Vape Mirage. Now, you know that Lost Vape, usually with their packages, they have really nice presentable packages. I remember on the drone, they had a nice little fold out. Therion was all nice and leather. This is kind of like just a box, but it is what it is. It's what's inside that counts, right? Well. At least that's what all my exes told me. Let's flip it. Lost Vape Mirage. Nice little display here. Keep in mind that when you get yours, it may not look exactly like this picture because I was under the impression that, oh shit, this is the one I'm getting. Nope, that, that's, not, that's not it. We know how much I love DNAs. I just have this infatuation for anything DNA. 75, except for like 30s, not a huge fan, or the 20s. But this is something we really need to highlight here. 18650, 2700, or 21700 convertible, meaning that it can use any of these three batteries. This little part right here is something that was probably released several months ago and no chips that are currently in your mods now have been reprogrammed or programmed outside of China is gonna have this feature. I don't know why that is, but if you try to activate this feature on a DNA 75, it's gonna tell you that you have a US edition firmware and it's not gonna let you do that. So what this is is basically like a boost function. If you have your first preset of 50 watts, you could do a boost up to 100 watts for X amount of time. We all know this, it's called a preheat feature, but now that DNA has that on some of their mods, it's fantastic. It sucks for the people that already have DNAs because there's no way to actually activate this setting on the DNA. Well, at least any way I can figure out. On the bottom there, lost vape. There's really nothing on the sides. On the top, you got a little bit of our social medias. I believe there's only two renditions with two different colors. This is a nice looking box, kind of a carbon cardboard weave. You have the mod, we'll go over that shortly. Side accessory pouch, which is probably just gonna be your micro USB. A little adapter, look at that. So basically this is gonna go on your 18650, you see? converting it into a 21700 battery, meaning that there's gonna be very, very little wiggle room. I can't say I've ever seen an adapter that's that small. Usually the whole battery encases it, so it doesn't flop about, but I guess it makes sense because that's the way you're gonna be putting it in, then you just close it down, and that should put enough of pressure on it to where it doesn't flop about like a loose pancake, and no one likes a loose pancake. On the side here, you're going to have a pamphlet, which is basically going to describe everything about the DNA 75C, which in fact, I will go over their default theme and everything. I'm not quite sure if this is going to be the retail packaging, but I am 100% sure that the mod that I have is the retail rendition. Pow, pow. Kind of a green to a red gradient configuration. The feel of this feels just like the Cartel Revenant. I mean, almost identical or even the Basilisk. Very very similar. I would think that they would do it in that hybrid fashion where it's like the hybrid wood and the resin. Maybe it's just too costly. I'm not quite sure. When I first saw this device, the first thing I thought of 
was this. And that's because if you look there, they're similar. They are. I mean, they're not identical, but they're close. The sizes are, of course, different because this is the Switchbox DNA 75. I'll go ahead and post a link right there. And this uses a single 18650, and it's not a DNA 75C. Very, very short lived, this mod. It's a shame, but it, it was. It just didn't pick up enough of speed which is sad panda. Any kind of imperfections that you see on here are from me and using it very, very rigorously. For the top, what we could fit is probably going to be a max of 25. You actually have more room than a 25. There's a 25 on there. Let's try a 28 on there. I really don't have any drippers that are 28 millimeters. Isn't that peculiar? And there we have a 28. You could see that the overhang is non-existent. So 28s will sit flush on this. 30s probably aren't gonna look that bad, but again, we go back into this being a single DNA 75C. So you're really not gonna use 30 millimeter drippers or tanks on top of this. 30 millimeter gives you a quite a bit amount of overhang on the sides, the front. Whole 2700. 21700 realm is kind of something that a lot of mods are going to and it's not necessarily a problem but for me when we're talking about single battery dna's i really much prefer something like a rebel and that's because of the 26650 rendition granted these are two very very different mods 2700s 21700s are going to be very very similar in the shape that they are on the front you're going to have your fire button your up down select we'll go over the menu very shortly micro usb down there on the bottom have a little bit of venting here the only venting i'm finding on this whole mod is right here which almost is venting for the chip itself and the micro usb charger versus the battery. You see on the 510 on the top, you got a nice little floating pin right here, a little jimmy jam, spring loaded, very, very stiff. To open up the battery door, just go ahead and push that little lever, it's gonna fly right on up. Got a little bit of a spring loaded action. Inside of the battery sled, you'll notice that the resin goes all the way around the whole sled, which is pretty badass. Negative top side, positive down. When you do put a 2700 in here, it's going to be a little bit loose, and that's because it can house a 21700. Don't really know why a lot of companies are doing both of those, because that kind of makes makes the other battery feel shangati, like it's just too floppy. Now when you put this down, you can't just push this, it doesn't just snap in. As much as I would like that just to snap in, it doesn't. Once you push it down, you have to hold it down and kind of move the latch up. Not so much of a pain in the ass, but it would be much better if when you push that down, there was something that was hitting this to push it back to lock in place. But no matter how hard you press this, that does not happen. Lost Vape did this, I believe, with the Paranormal and Ethereum, this whole color coordination. You're going to do five clicks, one, two, three, four, five. It's going to go ahead and launch it up, and then here is the menu. So the menu functions on this are not difficult at all. Basically, you're going to use the up and down to cycle through, and then when you hit what you want to hit, you hit the center button. So you go over here to settings, stealth mode, time and date, brightness, temp unit, lock settings, inside of the lock settings, how many times to lock. So we're going to do three. You hit the fire button to deselect. You can also change the unlock sequence. So instead of it just being five clicks of fire, you can make it do, you know, up, set, down, and that will unlock it. I wish you could shut the lock sequence off, but you just can't, because every time it goes into standby mode, it's just gonna automatically lock the device. Over here, you're gonna see your info of the actual mod itself. There's your boost right there. On the top there, you'll be able to change the profile. It does list it as a coil material, but basically each one of these set up are actual profiles. Like you could change the name of those, you could do a lot. A lot of the stuff that you need to do aftermarket with this, you're going to need some themes. So I'm gonna install my theme on this and then show you what it is and I'll provide a link down below to actually download these themes. Keep in mind that the themes that I'm gonna share with you are mine and are only accessible through my patrons. Like that's the only way you're gonna be able to get this. Unless someone of course that's there shares it with you, then shame on them and they should not be 
anywhere near me. So there's a couple things that's from the original theme that came with this mod that's not on this that I would have to add at a later date, and that is the boost function. But the way that I use a DNA 75 is I have certain profiles that I use that have the power set into it. So I could add the boost function to this, but all I would do really is just change the profile so each of those has, let's just say, 10, 15 more watts than what it's set at. So it is going to boost for that little bit of power on those first couple seconds. Mirage by Lost Vape. There's not really a whole lot of Lost Vape anywhere on this. They should have changed like the font or removed this and I feel like they could have made this a little bit smaller. Let's bring it on the top. Back on top of the Lost Vape DNA 75C Mirage Resin Rendition with the red to green resin on the side with the 502 sitting on the top of that. 54.5 watts with a 10 watt boost. Here we go. As long as I've been using DNAs, which is a long, long time, and SX chips, DNAs always fell short in the whole preheat function. Now, that did work as far as temp mode were concerned, and you could adjust the power curves. You could even go as far as adjusting how the battery is drained. This is kind of a new feature. I don't know why Evolve didn't launch this for people that already have the US program chip. Like, why would they just release it? specifically for China. That kind of irritates me because I have a lot of DNAs and I would really like that function on all of them. Again, if you try to do that function in eScribe, adding a preheat boost, what's going to happen is when you go to hit update, it's going to tell you this does not work on this US edition firmware. Can you show me where I get the Chinese firmware rendition? Japanese? I would just like to have the EU or Asia rendition on all my DNAs. It's not like it changes the language of it. It just adds that whole function. Yesterday, I saw a picture of someone using a DNA 75C at 100 watts. I'm here to tell you that this mod cannot continuously hit at 100 watts. I know that there's some glitches and the screen may say 100 watts, but it might give you a 100 watt boost, but it can't perform at 100 watts at all times. The way to know that is when you go into eScrub, scroll over to the mod tab and scroll all the way down, you're gonna see the max power. Don't go messing that up and trying to put extra power in there that this mod can't achieve. That's just gonna be a fucking catastrophe. Keep it where it is, and this is going to say 75 watts. Now, if you have another device that says more than that, please enlighten me as to which mod is actually putting out 100 watts as a DNA 75C. Unless, of course, they released it and they didn't tell anybody. That, that may be the case. First off, the edges on this whole mod are a little sharp. Nothing you're going to cut your finger with, but you're definitely going to realize it's in your hand when you're moving it about. It's not pointy. There's just a really rough feel to the edges. It using a 2700 is going to make this mod much taller than that of a DNA 75 that's using an 18650. The issue that I'm having is other mods that I have that use a 2700 or a 21700, they're not as tall as this is. So this has got a little bit of height to it. And when you put a really large tank on here, it looks really friggin' ridiculous. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I use the Churchill. You know, I rated that in my top five RTAs of all time. If I was to put a Churchill on top of this mod, it's going to be like the size of some people's feet. That's it. This thing is tall as hell. What Lost Fape could do to make this mod that much better is really sand the sides of this, bring it down just a little bit, and do not support 21700. I know there's going to be people in the comments, I love 21. No, you don't. No, how many 21700 batteries do you own right now? If you say you own more than five, then I, I'm, I'm really going to second guess you and try to figure out why it is you have more than one 21700. Now, 2700, I know there's even some people that got some mods that were 2700 that got a couple batteries. This doesn't come with batteries. At the same time, you could use this with an 18650, but so could you on the Oceanus. And the Oceanus is going to be much cheaper than that of this device. But of course, you're factoring in the DNA. A 75c i really do not like a theme as well with it how would i rate this mod on a zero to ten i'm probably gonna give it a six it's not that i don't like the mod we know how much i love the chip kind of irritates me that all of the chips that you already have can't use that boost function it kind of sucks, but that's not why I'm rating it this. I'm rating it this because I'm not a fan of the colors that are on the side i do believe the only other option is like a green 
for like brown or green to blue, would I recommend you to go out and go buy this? If you're looking for a DNA 75C that can use a 2700 or a 21700 that's not a squonk, then absolutely I do. There's not a lot of DNA 75Cs on the market that use the larger batteries, 18650 sure. And we all know by now that 2700, you're gonna get more battery life and it's gonna be a harder hit than that of an 18650. And that means just less batteries to carry around. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a decent device for where it is. The main thing that I would change on this would be to shrink this down a little bit for five millimeters because it's a little tall for what it is. Not quite sure of the price point, but I could tell you that Lost Fate products are usually not cheap. And if you could pick this up or the Therion, I would definitely recommend the Therion over this. It's a nice little addition. It is. If you're looking for that small niche of using a larger battery with a DNA 75C. And now everybody's going over to squonking, so I don't even know how relevant a mod like this would be. I used it for like two, three days just to see if I liked it. It's, it's all right, it's nice if you don't have a DNA 75C, but there's definitely other DNA 75Cs that I feel are much more worth it than whatever price point they're gonna put this at. Unless of course it's like 40 bucks, but again, I don't really factor in price points anymore ever since everybody got mad at me for talking about shit if it's worth it or not. I will tell you this though, the boost function that is on this mod is really, really nice. Like it's pretty badass. I'm not quite sure that whatever boost functions that you're going to put on this mod, like let's just say you have profile 2, 3, 4, 5, I don't think you can save the boost for each of those without an actual Mac or a PC you kind of have to do it in eScribe. There may be a way to do it, but I haven't been able to figure it out. On the same token of that, how often are you really gonna be changing the boost? And how often are you really gonna be changing the resistance? You kind of vape on your set resistance. And at that time, you might as well just set up a profile for each one of the powers that you use and tanks that have the corresponding resistance that that profile is set up for. I've kept the wheel. Have you? Check yourself.